In autumn 1954, Imperial forces have made their way up to the borders of Prague. The Germans have taken Pilsen and uh, German forces actually have breached the, defending, the defensive line of the Allies in several places. This uh, uh, hasn't really led to any kind of major encirclements and I was actually planning to assault into the Low Countries but uh, there might be opportunities here to surround major allied forces around Czechoslovakia and kicking them out of the war eventually. Uh, while they are still holding Munich, Germany is definitely advancing further south into German territory. At the same time, in the Atlantic, we have had some uh, successes. We have managed to sink uh, two, coastal, uh, two Mexican coastal, coastal defense ships, and uh, we have managed to sink the HMCS Ontario, the pride of the fleet of the Canadian fleet. So it looks like our submarines are definitely capable of not just taking on, not just taking on transports, but also actually engaging, uh, also actually engaging uh, more powerful escort forces if need be. That said, for that, we are going to need to consolidate the submarine forces. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build uh, probably two with a third burgeoning one uh, assault fleet, so 15 submarines each, and have them uh, have them run on a higher risk because right now uh, we are running on medium risk which means that if uh, if escort forces engage the submarines will disengage whereas what we would try to do is to increase the risk but for that i need a, more, a higher concentration of submarines to be able to fight successfully and we'll, we'll see how that will go so uh choices choices i can either uh, and we have may have massive supply problems. Where are my first army? Where are my first army divisions here? Uh, I need my marine divisions. And the other one is here. Okay, so we've got all three marine divisions here. Unfortunately, we are a little low on supply, but we will try to. Since we're here, we will try to use the uh, to use the marine divisions to assault uh, to take Breda and uh, try and capitulate the, the capitulate the Dutch which should free up some German territory in the south and then we'll swing uh, into Ch the Czech Republic and take them on next uh, while the actual tank forces once we've crossed the rivers here uh, from the first army can uh, can continue the assault out to Brussels and try to get, kick the Belgians out of the war as well. So I've got a little bit of shuffling to do. I will be back once I've got everything reorganized. Okay, I think we've got everything under control. I am going to get the I'm going to get the air force up in the air, and uh, we are going to before we are running out of the supply here. Uh, we are going to use the three uh, heavy marine divisions to push to Breda. And then we will see well, we will see what we do from here. I think we can push through the Dutch here, hopefully. And we've got some we've got some assault divisions around the area as well. Uh, we do need to sort out the supply here. I assume that a lot of the problems are out of the destruction that we're uh, that we've got. And uh, that looks like a lot of opposition, to be honest. Uh, we might not be able to push ahead into Rotterdam here. So, despite the fact that uh, our supply status is still good, uh, let's see. Um, I think, uh, uh, yeah, there we go. Uh, I think it just uh, it just took a minute to <laughs> took a minute to start for them to realize what they're up against. Uh, we can we can open the front uh, we can extend the front lines a little bit from the other side, send some more infantry over as reserves, but uh, we've already taken them. So, uh, no problem here, and we will continue up to Breda. And from there, I think they are pretty much defeated. So, with how's the air situation looking? Yeah, we are uh, we are clearing out the air. We are taking a fair amount of losses. So, uh, definitely, definitely more quality enemy uh, enemy fighters up in the air here. But uh, how far are the 
How far the Netherlands? Uh, the Netherlands are cap uh, have capitulated. Yes. So we don't really need to. Uh, we will take Breda, but I think uh, Netherlands is, are about to capitulate, which is going to change the situation in the front quite significantly. And then we can concentrate the uh, third army into assisting Germany with uh, with the pushes here. So uh, we'll do that as well. Uh, we will see. We will, we will see how the situation how the situation changes here once we are taking once we are taking uh, Breda uh, and there is nobody I think the front is wide open at this point uh, there isn't really anyone anyone around so we'll, we'll we'll literally just march on to Brussels right now yeah Netherlands have capitulated I'll send all the I'll send all the equipment uh, I'll send all the equipment to the Germans but uh, that has led to uh, an interesting frontline situation where we may have a chance to uh, let's see if we can make that push uh, to encircle a fair, a fair amount of allied divisions here. In fact, we are just actually going to, I think, uh, move towards Eindhoven, uh, start pushing them, start pushing them out of Utrecht, and. Uh, Get every, uh, the Germans can fill, can backfill the, uh, the Germans can backfill the the positions. But I'm kind of keen to see if we can manage to get them encircled here, as that has definitely led to uh, some of the uh, some of the divisions here being squeezed out quite a bit. And I am completely out of things to research. Am I not? There's still something. Sooner or later, I'll be out. Uh, another naval land landing near Wilhelmshaven, but yeah, it's uh, desperate Dutch attempts at this point. Let's see if we can retake Maastricht, and uh, we will have to pin these divisions here in place. So let's get everybody in on the attack, and just make sure they don't uh, they don't move off. And then once we have that under control, uh, we will move on. Yes, we've reconnected here. Germany hopefully is going to uh, is going to is going to figure out how to hold the lines. We'll get everybody. Uh, we'll get everybody moving, and we will see if we can encircle them near Maastricht. Honestly. Okay, and that's almost. And after we've taken Maastricht, uh, we will close. We will close the gap. We can already launch the assault uh, in the north here, and I think we can assist with the attack here as well. Let's get them pushed back. Uh, Brussels is currently not my concern. I would like to make sure that we close the encirclement near Eindhoven. Has anybody landed in Wilhelmshaven? Negative. Okay, so uh, the tanks have closed, have closed the encirclement near Eindhoven. Well done. So now it's just a matter of uh, of clearing it, clearing them out and uh, destroying destroying this uh, destroying this encirclement here. Got some assault divisions here, and then everybody can uh, follow that up with the attack afterwards. And I think that is going to be, yeah, there, there we have it. Divisions are encircled, being wiped out. And I, I hope the Germans can continue the, the push into Belgium here, really. So that's already done. How's the, how's the air situation going? Air situation is green in our favor. But we are taking a fair amount of losses at this point, so I think uh, we're good here. We can once again, uh, we can once again stop uh, stop the air assault because the losses are mounting on fighters. There we go, and uh, the ground the ground support as well. Okay, and that just leaves these troops here, uh, which can uh, which will be wiped out too, and then we can send the. Uh, we can send the and we have a we have earned ourselves a medal uh, for taking for the occupation of Breda. I uh, don't have the political power right now, but uh, we will eventually uh, award them a medal. Uh, Germany might be able to push to Brussels at this stage. 
let, let's see if we can see if we can assist them a little in that. But we do need to get the supply lines here connected because everyone is uh, very much running out of fuel here. But that's uh, that's another fair amount of Allied divisions destroyed. And uh, obviously they are recapturing the territory in the south. But uh, I'm just checking if any German troop movements have caused... Oh yeah, the Germans have managed to get themselves... No, they haven't managed to get themselves cut off. Uh, but we can already move in here and, uh, and supplement the front line here. The big question is where can we get supply? Because Karlsbad is, is completely over... Uh, uh, Prague is going to be the next uh, the next point. Karlsbad is completely over uh, over uh, yeah, overused in terms of or in terms of available supply. So let's see. It'd be nice to make a cut here and cut these divisions off. It's a little fractured right now. We'll we'll see if we can make the lines a little better a little better there. And we have destroyed the. Uh, we have destroyed the uh, the last Allied defenders, which means that there shouldn't be anything uh, stopping us from going into Brussels. Honestly, well, not this way. We don't want to. We don't need to go through Antwerpen. Uh, so just move south and then into Brussels st straight away. Let's see if we can push the front line. We could take Brussels and push the front line forward and quickly observe the assaults here. I have some more divisions uh, stationed here for a push south, south towards Regensburg. But uh, let's make this one happen here first. That should encircle these divisions. Yes, they are encircled. So we can wipe them out. And we can potentially try to... Uh, I might need a couple more forces for that, actually. Uh, get me a bit more infantry on the front line here. Let's get a little bit more infantry on the lines here. And these troops are encircled, but... Uh, okay, we are going to... No, no, not that way. I mean, you may as well, since we're at it. Uh, let's, let's, let's extend the lines on, on this position as well. Uh, and then assist with uh, taking down the taking down the defenders and then we can try to go for an encirclement from Prague and clear this from the south actually okay how's the situation in okay we have taken Brussels uh, and the allies are fiercely pushing back now with with additional reserves so they are not taking lightly to uh, to the loss of Brussels um, let's see let's see if we can let's see if we can take a bit of the heat off from from that uh, from that advance and uh, see if we can manage to hold Brussels actually given the amount of divisions that are pushing against us these are motorized divisions and uh, actually by the way this is something I have reorganized but haven't really shown you uh, the mechanized divisions are a little bit more uh, a little bit more powerful now. They have received uh, self-propelled artillery and self-propelled anti-air. So, uh, and no allied air in the region. So let's push to uh, push to Namur. How far is how far is Belgium? Ah, Belgium's still going. Uh, where have they moved their their capital? I'm not sure, but. Uh, I'm sure if we start taking their cities, then uh, things are going to start looking a little different for them pretty soon. Yeah, Brussels is starting to hold now that we've uh, now that we've cleared out uh, cleared out Namur on, and cleared out the right flank. So now we can uh, continue to Charleroi and see if we can uh, push to Kortik as well, while the uh, mechanized divisions are holding Brussels. But uh, yeah, the Allies are pushing back quite significantly here now. Uh, have we managed to destroy the allied divisions here? Not quite yet. Uh, we do need to please make sure that we can get these destroyed. We've got additional infantry moving in from the from the other side. And then we can attempt uh, a push towards Prague. While first we are uh, we're, we're clearing up the uh, the Polish infantry here that uh, the Polish tanks here that are holding positions. Yeah, Germany is moving in quite significantly. So after we've moved here, 
Uh, let's try to go for Tabor. And, I, oh, I think Germany actually has managed to get the encirclement done. Well done, Germany. So we, we got, we've got the infantry moving in, uh, clearing out the, uh, the last Polish defenders here. And um, we're just waiting for... Okay, I think we're just going to hold here in Namur for now. Uh, nah, we'll, we'll push forward towards Charleroi. Why not? Uh, let's see if we can take... No. Let's see if we can take... Uh, if we can take uh, Ghent. And then Antwerp. Uh, really, I'm leaving it to Germany at this point to... Uh, I'm leaving it to Germany at this point to, to hold the front lines. I don't know how many tr uh, troops they've stationed in Antwerp, but uh, we will see how that's going. I think uh, offensive operations against... Oh, okay, that's a lot of them. Okay, stop the offensive operations here. Uh, no, hold hold position in Brussels. I'm gonna have to reorganize the front line. We've already managed to push towards Kortik. So I want to reorganize my front lines here. And I am gonna get these divisions onto a very specific front line uh, with the goal of clearing out Ghent and those positions. So let's move the infantry forward, uh, and you can already counterattack and close close the trap here. Infantry moves forward. How is the situation looking here? Um, we're getting there. So uh, we do have to make sure that we're that they're not they're not going to be able to break out here again, and that the Germans are holding. So we're sending the infantry in what we have towards uh, towards Tabor, if that's how you pronounce it, and uh, get some, uh, see if we can manage to, uh, if we can manage to work our way around and uh, isolate Prague from there. That would be great. And I think Germany is going to hold here. We are fighting terribly without, uh, without supply because of the whole situation. I'm going to send the rest of the, uh, these six divisions that I have here, I'm going to send them in as well. Uh, I'm going to get those uh, to begin uh, the assault on the assault on Prague, to be honest, with the goal of uh, taking the positions out there. While the rest of the infantry is trying to push back against American divisions here but is starting to struggle due to the fact that we are running completely out of supply. All right let's get back to our situation here. Germany is holding the lines which means um, which means we can la start launching attacks against Ghent and we're gonna have we're gonna have the tanks here in a minute as well. I do have the main armored divisions ready as well uh, along the front lines. And we can bring those. We can bring bring those into assist. Uh, we do need to bring the railway batteries up. So uh, this battery will bring it up here. And I had another one somewhere. I keep I keep losing track of where I put them. Think where I put those things. Uh, okay, there's, there there are two more here, uh, just supporting that line. So uh, we might send one to uh, to Köln. So let's get that done. Tanks are pushing out the uh, the Belgian defenders here, although they appear to be struggling. But uh, we do have some additional forces coming in from the north to assist with the assault on Ghent. Uh, that's a lot of French defenders. Are the French still are the French still in a bad position manpower-wise? Not so much anymore. They have recovered a little bit. And I think the bigger problem is the Air Force. So let's get uh, the fighters back up in the air. And get us at least aerial superiority. And uh, we're going to get both wings on ground support. There we go. That should assist us a little bit here. But I think uh, that push... Okay, we'll... We'll we'll hold we'll hold that for now because I think the tanks aren't at this point are at this point getting exhausted here. So um, 
we uh, let's get some more divisions onto the assault in uh, in Ghent and see if we can uh, see if we can uh, make that happen. All right. Uh, yep, that has encircled that has encircled the remaining divisions. Uh, it's just two divisions in Antwerp. And I think uh, next stop is uh, is Liège, and we can already begin uh, offensive operations there. Uh, where are my tank divisions? Uh, okay, they are mostly uh, poised towards a southern southern thrust. So we might get that to to start as well, and see if we can manage to. Yeah, let's uh, let's begin cutting off. We should be able to cut them off here uh, near Nuremberg. So let's begin the assault and get the tanks to cut them off south of the river line. Okay, armored divisions are go, and we are clearing out the remaining positions near Antwerp. And uh, I think these divisions are going to need some rest before we uh, before we're going to get them uh, before we are going to get them in engaged again. So once we have the divisions cleared out here, okay, that's that's not happening. Uh, no, we we'll, we we'll clear out Antwerp and then we get everybody. Uh, we get everybody some rest and then uh, they can operate elsewhere. For now the tank divisions are cutting through and then once they are encircled, it's, it's not a great position, but once they are encircled uh, we, will, we will, go, uh, will go around. Okay, Belgium has capitulated. There we go. So that just leaves some foreign troops near Belgium and uh, Someone is. Uh, these are. These are German. I'm just making sure that I'm not sending any. That I'm not sending any. Uh, I'm not sending anyone into the channel, because that would be bad. Okay, uh, that means I can also give the air force some rest again, and minimize our losses here. Uh, let's get these off, and let's get, let's get everybody to train up over the Benelux region as they need to. Okay, everyone else uh, get your uh, get your organization back and uh, Germany is is breaking through towards Stuttgart now. Uh, no, sorry, that's me. Uh, I am breaking through towards Stuttgart. So we, was, we are sending... Uh, we'll send two, two tank divisions north of the river and that one up north here while these four are breaking through in the south and once they have once they have taken the position then uh, we will eliminate the rest of the defenders here yeah we uh okay that's a nice in uh, encirclement here near pilsen uh let's again try to uh try to take prague and see if we can make any progress here they unfortunately get supply out of prague so uh, and Prague is fortified, so that's not going to be an easy one. I, we have uh, the encirclement complete here now, so uh, let's push from the other directions and make sure that we wipe that out. That is a fair amount of uh, that is a fair amount of divisions, but uh, we'll clean them up, no problem. So we'll send the tanks north, and that's that. Over at the uh, over at the Belgian front, I uh, will just get everybody to rest up a little bit and recover their uh, recover their uh, their strength. Uh, 175,000 is still okay. And uh, how's it looking here? Yeah, tank tank divisions are clearing this out without too much trouble. And then. Uh, and then we've got uh, we've got larger parts of Germany liberated. Yeah, it's it's a it's it's a roll at this point. Let's see how this what we can do with the navy. However, we've got all the submarines back in port, so we are and these are all very experienced submarine divisions. We are going to um, merge these into the first uh, first submarine assault. And we're going to get these three to merge. 
and that's going to be the second submarine assault and then uh, these two merged are going to be the third submarine assault group so these three groups are now going to engage on uh, high risk so let's have a quick look at how things are going we have lost eight I don't know why we have con uh, convoys in the English Channel. I have blocked the in naval access to the English Channel. Convoys should not be there. Uh, it's at their own risk, really. Let's see if there's any research left that we can do. I think I'm pretty much done, to be honest, with most things. Uh, it's nothing here. Uh, it's a couple of lines, in the, uh, naval tech lines, but I think we're pretty much through with a research. Uh, I mean, for, we can research this just to make it, to make something happen. Okay, so uh, the three assault submarine groups are now going to be on um, convoy raiding, but under uh, are now under orders to take higher risks. So I'm curious. Uh, we have yeah, we have 100% mission efficiency. So now uh, these now we get. Uh, now we are facing destroyers, but the destroyers are actually facing uh, a fair amount of opposition. So we will see how these battles are are gonna la are gonna go. And there already goes the first one. Uh, so <laughs> suddenly uh, these destroyers uh, will uh, come to realize that uh, the submarines are no longer uh, disengaging at the site of the first destroyer, but are actually fighting back. So the torpedo spreads coming in. And uh, the destroyers are running now, so we have managed to, we're actually managing to chase away enemy destroyers. We'll see how the naval battles are, and why are we fighting in the English Channel? I'm reasonably certain, oh, these are my, uh, these are German convoys, okay, not my convoys. Right, let's, uh, let's follow up with the situation here. I think we have not managed to, uh, to take Tabor. Unfortunately, we will need to take Prague first. So I think uh, I am going to get the uh, the tank divisions to assist with the assault here. Uh, let's try to isolate. Oh, that's not ideal. Uh, let's get let's let's get them let's get them around. Uh, Okay, that's that's that was third army. Uh, let's give them a front line around Prague and see if we can if we can manage to take Prague. Let's get the tanks over there. No, you are supposed to be on that front line. Let's get the tanks over there, and I am going to bring a railway battery to deal with the Prague fortifications. So let's get that over here as well. Uh, yep, yeah, that should do it. And how is the situation looking in uh, Belgium? I think we can get rid of these of these lines here for now. Uh, Germany is holding positions. Uh, we haven't managed to to assault across the river, so we're going to get the going to get the heavy river assault divisions. How's your situation? I think, uh, yep, yeah, you're you're at hundred percent. So let's get them to take uh, uh, to take uh, Liège, and then. Uh, push across the river and uh, up to Luxembourg. We will yet, uh, we will yet, yet get Germany, get Germany liberated. But uh, right now, I'm waiting for the uh, tank divisions to arrive here to uh, to launch the assaults uh, to to support the assault against Prague. Uh, that's third army, so you can be on this line, and we'll get everybody in. They're not going anywhere as long as Germany is holding here. But uh, I would like to get, let's get the third army a f uh, an offensive line as well. There we go. Uh, I don't think I can wait for the for the tanks. However, we do need to secure this position here. So let's um, let's get a couple of divisions. Let's actually extend the front line uh, like that. Uh, that's for the first time. That's the wrong one. Okay, let's 
get one back and get the other one extended. Okay. And I do want some more infantry in the south here. Okay, move there and then assault Tabor again. And you as well launch already the attack and we get the, uh, the rest of the infantry to join once they are around and then we will see if we can make that happen. And these are, yeah, the Germans are getting obviously sunk, getting their convoys sunk, but our submarines are engaging. We have destroyed uh, four Canadian destroyers and nine Canadian convoys because after their escorts were sunk not an awful lot has happened anymore and there are a lot of more naval engagements going on so let's take a look at what we're doing here uh, that's an American light cruiser the uh, USS Duluth is already down and they are actually running the escorts are running uh, they're sending out who's this uh, five battles uh, that's a that's a full battle line um, with uh, but these now these are capital uh, these are heavy cruisers uh, that's a destroyer and I, it looks like uh, that group here is too much for our submarines and here we've got seven submarines that have managed to sink another Can Canadian destroyer so the Canadian destroyers are going to suffer here in uh, in their in their defense let's get you on the assault as well. Uh, are going to suffer here in their uh, in their in that uh, convoy defense quite significantly, and uh, the tanks are rolling in. I'm actually going to actually uh, going to start launching the assault against Prague here from two directions. We've got the uh, we've got the railway artillery in place to cover the front lines. So let's see if we can. Uh, oh, this is actually still connected, so they are not actually in, they are not actually encircled here. Uh, okay, that might explain why things are working out better for them. So tanks are beginning to uh, beginning the assault against Prague, and uh, uh, with heavy artillery support. How's the air situation over Czechoslovakia? Yeah, that's a lot of them. So I don't think we have an opportunity to uh, to contest that too well. Um, Oh, it's the status of the fighter wings uh, recovering. Uh, we can get what do we what airport capacity? I think we've got airport capacity for the fighters in uh, Niederschlesien. So let's get them over there and see if we can give our, give our troops some air support while we're doing these kind of assaults here. Okay, troops still moving around the south. Uh, tanks are. Uh, in on the assault against Prague now from multiple directions. German tanks are joining the fight as well. So that should widen the front line a little bit and give us a bit more firepower against the Japanese defenders here. And I think now the, the assault against uh, Tabor is happening as well. So while Germany is trying to close it over here, I think we're going to have more success uh, taking the position there. And uh, now, now that we have, oh yeah, the Allies are counterattacking along the lines here, uh, and they might actually manage to push the Germans back here in in Poland a little bit, but uh, obviously trying to relieve the pos the positions. Uh, we have contested air over Czechoslovakia, and uh, that is a lot of air, so we can't uh, we can't su uh, sustain that for too long. But we'll try to sustain it for as long as we can to uh, support our divisions here in the assault. And we'll see if the tanks with some infantry support can manage to take Prague. And uh, at the same time, we'll try to get the 3rd Army's infantry to take uh, uh, Tabor and encircle the, the allies in the north here. And then uh, we are working our way up to uh, closing off this, this section. And uh, most, most Allied advances have been beaten back. And uh, right now I am letting my divisions some, uh, rest somewhat here. Uh, although I think these three uh, can already take uh, Liège so, uh, with some support from the, from the infantry. Let's make that happen. 
Okay, we have taken Prague. So now, uh, so now they they are encircled, and we have taken Tabor, which means the uh, the armored divisions can now uh, can now finish off the uh, these uh, the encircled defenders, and then we'll have to wait for the for the supply lines to stabilize before we do any further offensive operations. How have our naval battles gone so far? With our new, uh, with our new and improved uh, submarine doctrine, uh, a light cruiser, a destroyer, two convoys, not too bad. And uh, that's just a destroyer, okay? A destroyer, two convoys, we'll take it, and a destroyer and three convoys. So I think so far, the uh, the assault operations against um, the assault operations against. Uh, the more aggressive assault operations against enemy destroyers are working out and uh, How many defend oh my gosh, that's a lot of them uh, Might actually be even better to just encircle them instead of attacking uh, Let's call off the assault here for now. Let's get, let's get that sort. Uh, let's get this uh, situation sorted here first uh, We can support the attack here And we'll get that cleared up and then I think we can use the... We'll have to check the supply lines here. Uh, okay, Prague is coming online. And Prague should be able to... Where's the next supply hub? Uh, Prague should be able to help uh, get the area here supplied. Hopefully. And then we will see if we can... We're also running a bit, uh, a bit low on fuel again. Uh, then we will see if we can... Uh, if we can use the armored divisions to uh, cut them off here, wherever we can manage, honestly, I uh, will probably cut through. We'll see if we can cut through the through the fortifications here, and then uh, clear out, uh, clear out the positions. And we've overrun allied divisions here. And you can already assist with the assault in the north as well. And all of you move in here on the attack and clear that up yeah we'll let it stabilize but then i think we uh, we can take um we can probably take breslau next after we've uh, cleared this out oh naval invasion in the benelux region uh that's just a canadian a single canadian division nothing much yeah, then, then we can clear this out and the next question would be how far is the is Czechoslovakia to uh, to capitulation? Yeah, not quite there yet. Uh, they have moved their capital to Bratislava and they're controlling a fair amount of territory. So not our primary focus. We will probably uh, uh, reorient the first army's tanks back to where they were originally and start moving on Stuttgart. Uh, push and push the French back to the Maginot. But first uh, we'll clear this up and then we will take a look at the losses. We may as well just actually chop this away here. I think we can just take Breslau to be honest. Uh, so let's get the tank divisions. Uh, once they once they have cleared the uh, once they have cleared out positions there. In fact, this is less than ideal because we are attacking across river lines here with tanks. But this, uh, these tanks are so powerful at this point that uh, it's not a big issue. Uh, we can take Breslau and then clear clear up the northern arm of this encirclement, I think. Uh, no, Breslau itself is well defended, but this position is not. So this might might work in our favor. Let's get that done. So uh, once we are once we're once we're through here with the encirclement and cleaning that up, then uh, we will move to the north. In fact, we will do that in the next episode because otherwise we'll be here forever. But uh, the next uh, tactical move will be to uh, to encircle and destroy the Allied positions near Breslau, and then uh, we will get focus our attempts again at uh, positions in uh, the Low Countries and. Uh, Holding counterattacks for now, but yeah, consolidating our lines here near uh, near the Maginot and starting to take on French positions. Anyway, we, I think we might need to. Yeah, we uh, we are not cap We are not able to contest this anymore. That's too many. We're gonna take too many. Uh, we're taking too many losses here now. So uh, they have concentrated all of their air force here. So let's uh, let's uh, stop that. We'll have to make do with ground operations as they are but uh, we will see the conclusion of this in the next episode and I might actually 
send some tanks over here and then get them to attack from the other side just to widen the front lines a little bit and then uh, then we'll, we'll focus on on the positions there in the north next episode yep looks uh, looks like progress to me and okay the last thing we look at is okay double sister convoy <laughs> I would have hoped more and two Mexican destroyers and a convoy and another Canadian destroyer so was there another one no that was the one I was looking at so uh, success in the Atlantic all around so far we haven't really lost anything and uh, next episode uh, we will continue with the Czechoslovakia operation and then refocus again on liberating Munich, Stuttgart and pushing towards the Maginot.